Lucy Kafanov is out front. Tonight, the first eyewitness descriptions of the fatal moment when Alec Baldwin pulled the gun from his holster on that New Mexico movie set, killing the film's director of photography, 42-year-old Helena Hutchins. Two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. Court documents released Sunday revealing chilling new details of what happened inside the building on that fateful Thursday. The film's director, Joel Souza, telling investigators that Baldwin was sitting on a wooden pew during rehearsal, cross-drawing his weapon and pointing the revolver towards the camera lens. Souza, who was wounded, said he was looking over the shoulder of Helena when he heard what sounded like a whip and then a loud pop. We were rehearsing and it went off and I ran out. We all ran out. Hutchins was shot in the chest, Souza telling investigators that the cinematographer began to stumble backwards, and a cameraman on the set remembered Helena saying she couldn't feel her legs. The affidavit reveals it was the film's assistant director, Dave Halls, and not the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez, who handed Baldwin the prop weapon, yelling, cold gun, indicating it was safe. There's something that strikes me as odd was where was the armorer during this time? Was she unaware? Did she step off to the restroom for a moment? That first AD should never, ever reach for a gun on a set. It's unheard of. 24-year-old Gutierrez was the armorer on Rust, but recently said she worked as head armorer on another film for the first time. Like, by all means, I'm still learning. I think loading blanks was like the scariest thing to me because I was like, oh, I don't know anything about it. Discussing her previous experience on a podcast. Well, I was really nervous about it at first and I almost didn't take the job because I wasn't sure if I was ready. Two people who worked closely with the assistant director, Dave Halls, tell CNN he was the subject of complaints over safety and his behavior on set during two productions in 2019, including a disregard for weapon safety protocols, a failure to hold safety meetings, or to announce the presence of a firearm on set. CNN has learned Halls was previously fired from another film after a crew member was injured in a gun incident, according to Rocket Soul Studios. Neither Halls nor Gutierrez responded to a CNN request for comment. No charges have been filed as the investigation continues. Hutchins' son and husband were seen alongside Baldwin in Santa Fe on Saturday. Her husband posting these family photos on Instagram, writing, We miss you, Helena. The producer, which Alec Baldwin is, ultimately will share some liability. Alec Baldwin is facing a situation in which he's the person who has the weapon in his hand at the time it discharges, and he's also a producer on the set who is responsible for everyone on the set. This evening is going to be about Helena. In downtown Albuquerque, a candlelight vigil. Many of the mourners part of the film and television industry. There is grief tonight as people mourn the passing of 42-year-old Helena Hutchins, but there's also outrage and unanswered questions about how this tragedy, how this senseless shooting could have taken place. I just hope all this talking does something and we we get the changes that we need for a safe set. Um, I'm sure you know we were about to strike this past Monday for safer conditions. And if the world didn't believe us about what's going on, maybe they believe us now. People should be able to go home after performing their job. Yeah, a child should have a mother. Well, Aaron, the sheriff's office told us they expect to update the public on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the production team behind the movie, Russ, says they are conducting an internal review of safety protocols in a letter sent to cast and crew. They also announced that they will pause filming on this production, at least until this investigation is complete. Aaron. All right, Lucy, thank you very much.